All right, so let's quickly look at the roles of oligosaccharide groups on gangliosides. Roles of oligosaccharide groups on gangliosides. So they said, write briefly on any two roles of what oligosaccharide groups on gangliosides. Only two roles. All right. Oligo. So it's basically like, well, if you combine oligosaccharides to gangliosides, what would be their function? So you see this oligosaccharides. You are bringing a gangliosides to here. If you combine these two things, what would be their action? Okay. So looking at this, we see that oligosaccharide groups on gangliosides they actually play what crucial roles in cellular function and interaction. All right. So I think here we have like five rules. So let's quickly look at it. So if you combine oligosaccharides and gangliosides, it will help in cell recognition and communication. All right. So these oligosaccharide groups extend beyond the cell membrane and they actually act as a distinguishing surface marker. Right. So they serve as specific determinants in cellular recognition and also in cell to cell communication receptor function um these carbohydrate heads groups they actually act as what receptors for certain glycoprotein hormones and bacterial protein toxins such as what cholera toxin okay modulation of cell signaling gangliosides are involved in what cell signaling all right they are involved in cell signaling processes, all right? So they actually interact with membrane proteins and ion channels, all right? Then tissue growth and differentiation, they actually help in the growth and differentiation of tissues and have been implicated in what? Carcinogenesis, that's basically what? Formation of cancer. They also have some neurological functions. So they have an effect on the nervous system. So gangliosides are highly what? Abundant. And they are involved in modulating what? Membrane proteins and ion channels. And this is actually what? Crucial for brain health. Okay? So that's it for the rules of what? Oligosaccharide groups on the ganglioside.